wanted to apologize before I get on with this video. My video camera is being kind of weird and kind of glitching out, so if there are bits that I've missed, I'll try to catch them in voiceover if I have to or put in a note. Um, so anyway, I was working on the ear tutorial and I am painting these, but I'm waiting for them to dry. So I'm going to talk about the materials that you will need to paint your face. First of all, you can't just paint your face one color and be good with it because when you cover your entire face with one color, it looks very flat. You need to add other colors to add dimension back into your face. Um, so anyway, let's start with the types of paint that you can find. Um, there are several brands. I've only worked with a few of them, so I can only give you my opinion on those. The first brand that I've ever worked with is um, Mayron. Mayron Paradise. And it smells really good. It smells like coconut oil cream. I don't know. It smells good. And it's a cream. No, it's not a cream. It's a water-based makeup. I have not worked with any cream-based makeups on my face. But it's water-based makeup, which means it's a cake. And you add water to it with your paintbrush, and then you paint it on your face. Or a sponge, but we'll get into that. Um, another, I'm sorry about the state of this, but um, another type that I've used is Krylon Aqua Color. And... I've used this in a couple of different ways. The first way is um, we couldn't find the exact right color for Mario's witch doctor, the gray. We were looking for a certain shade and we couldn't quite find it, but we found a mix between two. So what we did, and I'm not sure that you can tell, but there's a line down the middle there. Yeah. And we cut it in half, took it out, and mixed the two together in this one. So that's another option if you are lucky and live in San Francisco or if you have a um, theatrical place around you where you can go and actually swatch these things on your skin. On your skin, it's always best. Um, then I would definitely recommend that because the way that it looks on in the cake is not how it's going to look on your skin. Case in point, it's almost all gone. But this is my witch doctor um, makeup and as you can see it's very red it's, it's very red it's very red brown and um, the problem is oh it smells so good once it's on your skin it's more brown than red so we picked this color because in a small swatch it did look more red than brown but once it was on my skin we actually got yelled at for being racist because it looks so brown, but we'll get into that another day. Um, so anyway, these are Krylon Aqua Color, and you can get those from Krylon. Uh, we have white as well, which I used for the, um, oh, the white markings on my legs for the Witch Doctor, which I can't get open because it's stuck to it. Another one that you could find if you are for example, it's Halloween, or you just realize that you're going to need body paint for like next week, or if you just decided on a costume, is typically craft stores like Michael's or Beverly's. I don't know if Joanne's does, I haven't seen it there. We'll have um, the brand called Snazaroo. And um, I'd say that the quality on this is good. It's maybe not as good as with the Krylon or the Mayron, but honestly, I have not used this to cover a large amount of area, so I would not know. Um, maybe I'll do a review on it by actually like painting my arm or something with it. Um, but these are generally uh, pretty affordable at craft stores, so something to remember and look into. So that's where I had to. So. Another thing is you have to make sure that you have enough for what you need. Um, as you can see, we only got one color for, oh, that one's not mine. I must have. We only got one color for the red and it's almost all gone. We were lucky with that. Now we did do, we did a face test, we did a body test, and then we did BlizzCon. 
Um, so that's pretty good. Um, I always recommend doing a test, if possible, of your entire costume with the paint so that you can tell where the rub points are, where any problem areas are, where you need to touch up, what you need to improve upon, etc. The next thing you're going to need are brushes. Like I, I said in my air video, I like to use the ones with the plastic bristles. Um, I just find that these are easier to use than the ones with the hair. I know that a lot of people say to use the makeup sponges, but honestly, I have never been able to get a nice, flat, uniform color with these. Um, and I've tried using them a couple of times before, and I just could not. Um, so really, it's your preference. Try both. Whichever one works best for you, use that one. Um, something else you're going to need are uh, different color eyeshadows because um, once you paint your whole face a certain color it's going to be flat you're not going to have a lot of definition you're going to have to bring back those those colors so pretty much because today i'm painting purple i've grabbed every one of my purple eyeshadows i have just lots of different random colors you want lighter darker i would stay away from shimmery Let's see that i would stay away from shimmery eyeshadows just because they, well, you don't want anything glittery. A very slightly shimmery, satiny eyeshadow would be okay for highlighting, but uh, I, I would stay away from everything else. So anyway, just grab, if you have palettes, I found this Coastal Sims palette was very useful to me in my first uh, Drenai. The first time I wore the Drenai costume, I actually got that specifically for it. Um, another thing you'll need is either a water spray bottle, which I think is a little bit cleaner, especially if you're in a hotel room and people are all over the place trying to get ready for a convention. Just get a spray bottle of water and spray it into the cake and just a few spritzes, stir it around with your brush and uh, until it's the right consistency and that's a lot cleaner. Right now though, I'm just using this little cup to put water in. I'll dip my brush in it and then put it into that. Another thing that's very important is a setting spray. If you do not use a setting spray, then your makeup will likely sweat off or rub off. It, it won't last all day. I wore my Drenai for 14, 18 hours. I did not have an issue. There was not a single spot where it wasn't exactly like it was before. Same thing with my um, witch doctor, and I wore her all day. Plus I walked across the stage. Plus I was sitting and standing and, and it was on my legs, my arms. It was more than just my face and my hands. So anyway, I prefer Mayron Barrier Spray. Um, and really a little bit goes a long way. I just try to spray one or two so that the area is covered. Uh, let it dry and then do your next layer. Um, so I do it in between layers and then I do it after I'm finished. Now, if you have oily skin, um, I would definitely suggest getting some setting powder. And this is just the color set powder, but honestly, any translucent powder will work. And just use a sponge and press it onto your skin anywhere that there is paint. Because throughout the day, your skin might get oily and that will help. Um, if you have really oily skin and you're really concerned, then carry around blotting um, tissues with you so that you can blot that off. And it shouldn't take off the paint, but I would always make sure that I have a... Uh, I would always make sure that I have the paint with me anyway, just in case the test shops, in case someone like it starts raining and well, downpour really would be the only time that you would have an issue and things like that. Oh, also, you're going to need makeup brushes to help apply the eyeshadow to your face. Um, if you want, well, no, this isn't optional. I was going to talk about mascara, but I would also get some lipstick that is uh, a couple of shades darker. It really depends on if the character that you're 
cosplay has a certain color lips. If they're just normal colored, like a little bit darker than their skin tone, then go to MAC or um, OCC, Obsessive Cosmetics. Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics makes lip tars and they last a really long time and they come in a ton of different colors, like crazy colors too, like green, blue, orange. And you can actually mix these together to get the right color for your costume. So, and then if you're a girl, or even for a guy, I would suggest mascara, just because your lashes are really going to get, they might get covered in the purple, well, whatever color you're painting, obviously, you, they can get lost and it can look a little weird. So mascara is always good. So is a gel eyeliner or just some sort of eyeliner um, that would be a little bit darker than your skin tone. Um, maybe even the same color of your wig for your eyebrows. So that's everything that you need to put on your makeup and pretty much all you need to take it off is makeup remover lotion. Um, honestly, we got this for the uh, witch doctors and that's as much as we used. Um, this is really good for on your face on your skin though, I think that I actually got more results out of using Mario's Axe Body Wash than that, just because I was really afraid of using the entire bottle and that's what it would have taken for all of my skin. So I use that for my face and then I use Axe Body Wash for the rest of my skin. And okay, I think that is it for uh, what you will need for body painting. I am going to end this video now and start up a new one um, for the next part of the series to start painting. So thanks for watching.